In this video, I'm going to show you one of the movements I use all the time. We're going to be in the key of F, and we're doing the song Only You Are Holy by Donny McClacken. So I'm going to play the song first, then we get straight into the breakdown. So, melody first, F, G, and A. Then you play F and 9, left hand, which is F, C, then G, and A with your thumb. A, left hand, then this is just F sus 2. A sharp major. We go back to the one which is F8-9. Then we do the same thing. That's the movement. So I used it on the one. So the idea here is to hold your five with the right hand, which is the C, because we're in the key of F. Then you play seven, two, one. Right? Seven, two, one. Then the left hand you play two, four, three. That's how I play it. So while you're holding your five, you play seven, two, one. Left hand, two, four, three. So it sounds like this. So you can add a little bit of grace note from F to G, like... So let's play it one more time. So I didn't play it the first time. Let's put it here. Okay, so now we're going to the chorus. So, only you are. This is the third time, I think. Oh, then we pass through the five. Left hand is just C major, uh, which is C, G. It's an inversion. Uh, so, this is just um, C major, second inversion. So, this is C major, second inversion. Drop two. So, you're just dropping the C down here. So, just C major. Second inversion, drop two. I hope I'm not complicating things. But anyway, it's just C, G, and E. Then you play um, C, right hand. You can put grace knot while you're holding the G, D to E. Then you go to six. I played D octave left hand. Then right hand I played F sus four. So the third time. Then. Uh, then <laughs> I'm playing a lot of stretches here, man. Yeah, but if you can't stretch, you can use the pedal, obviously. Like, you know, so let's start with the right hand melody. So, G, A. I think this is an inversion of, um, yeah. 
So it's just F sus4. It's just an inversion of F sus4. So, but the whole code because we have um, a G here and uh, a sharp here, it now becomes G minor 11, which is G D A sharp, then C F and A sharp. Then this is just D C. Then you go to the form. This is A sharp F. Then you, with your thumb, you play C and D. Again, that is if you have long fingers. If you don't, you use the pedal. My fingers are actually hurting now. <laughs> so you can just do this. Yeah, so the pedal works really well. So... Then you go to the 7, which is... E and G, then right hand, that is a C sus2. We do that again. The same thing. Then that's where the movement is. So remember I told you we use the movement on the 1 and on the 7. So, while least you're holding the G here, you play B, D, and C. Then, left hand, you play D, F, and E. So, so in terms of the numbers, while least you're holding the 2, you play sharp 4, 6, and 5. Then, left hand, you play... 6, 1, and 7. So, well, at least you're holding the G, right? Then you do the last time. close so you might be wondering like trigger how am I going to remember all this to say like left hand it's two four seven then right hand you know all these numbers it's like now we are in a mathematics class right I know how it feels but the idea is the reason why I'm giving you the numbers is so that you can be able to play it in all the 12 keys so how this works for starters, you actually have to memorize these numbers, honestly. So if it's on the one, you, you have to memorize it. But with time, as you practice, when you're playing, you don't even think about the numbers. You just know, because you'll be practicing this in all the 12 keys. You see, then you get used to it. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.